Hello and welcome to another edition of Capper Comparison Picks. I am Range, and tonight I am going to give you the main card picks for UFC Vegas 25. If you check out the past videos I've made throughout the week, I've covered every undercard fight, all the prelims, and I'm up to here, and then um, tomorrow I will do the main and co-main events. You got a little chocolate here from your ice cream cake. Okay, so let's get right underway. Um, we have, oh, these. this is going to be some good fights here. All these were rather difficult. To, I mean, I haven't even made a decision yet, but let's uh, let's see what these cappers have to say. Okay, we've got uh, first we've got the uh, bantamweight fight between Marab the Machine Davishvili taking on Cody Spartan Stamen. Wasn't there another Spartan on this card like earlier, like in the prelims? Hold on a second. I'm pretty sure there was. There was uh, the Spartan. Who was the Spartan? Oh, Andreas Michaelitis is also the Spartan. Huh, wouldn't that be something? I mean, there's 50 pounds difference between the two Spartans, but that would be cool if they were in the same weight class. Ooh, it's, I'm getting hypnotized. It's making me dizzy. Okay, anyway, we've got uh, Rob Davishvili. He's coming off a win against John Dodson. A unanimous decision. He is on a five-fight win streak. He's got a three-and-a-half-inch reach advantage for the Georgian. He's fighting out of Sarah Jiu-Jitsu in Huntington, New York. That's in, down in Long Island. Uh, who fights out of Sarah, Sarah Jiu-Jitsu, owned by Matt Sarah, is uh, Chris Weidman. Well, he's not fighting now, as you know. He can, maybe he's trying to give lessons on how to check or how to give a proper leg kick without... Uh, never mind. I don't, I don't even know where I was going with that. I was going to try to make it funny. But anyway, he's out of there. So is Ally Quinta and uh, El Jermaine Sterling, who right now nobody's high on. But you gotta give it to him. He did. He does. You know, despite being the champ, he does have some fighting credentials. Okay, uh, Marab is taking on. Oh, he's a minus two fifty five favorite too, according to Bet Online. These are odds are from taking on Cody Stammen, Spartan. He was coming off a loss to Jimmy Rivera, unanimous decision loss. Uh, Cody Stammen fights out of Michigan top, top top team. I didn't recognize any of the names on the topology from that training facility. I like how much racism um, I got there. But uh, Cody Stammen still Dad, overall Dad, all around good good fighter. Wow, you got a lot of racers. <laughs> He's a 19, three and one. All right, let's see what these cappers have to say. Start team with the favorites. The machine. He is a machine too. That's this guy comes small. in hard. That's a small. <laughs> so taking Davish really the machine. We've got Flea. What's going on? <laughs> Did I scare you? No. Um, also, we've got the uh, underdogs MMA. He's the guy. He does all sorts of DraftKings lineups. Check him out, man. Links are in the description for all these cappers. Uh, underdogs, he's active in my chat. That's why I, I appreciate that. That's why I'm presenting him on this week's thing. I like his picks anyway. Uh, underdogs is saying by decision for Davishvili. Um, then we've got my boy E-Money. E-Money being busy with uh, schooling right now and uh, Man, that death and taxes. He found another energy orb on E-Money's last video. Another orb. Is that... What does that mean? An orb is like a mysterious... They don't know where it comes from. It's not... And it shows up on camera. And it's just like... Some people think it's spirits of people that die. I think it... You know what I think it is? What? 
dust. <laughs> but anyway, E Money got another energy orb on this video. <laughs> the link in the comments of the video, you will see where uh, I see death, video. death and taxes MMA. He actually time stamps the minute you see the orb. And this this one, I think, is a duck. Du I don't know. It does have a sense of direction. The first one was way better. The I first like one, a worry, right, Nor. The first one did like an arc and then reappeared on the other side of them. That one was better. This one was just a quick one side of the mic to the other side of the mic. Just It could have been dust caught in the light the right way, a particle oh, or a floating. Spirit. Or it could have been a spirit. <laughs> you judge for yourself. E-Money's link is in the description and in the comments you can see the timestamp. Then we've got Newsom from MMA Play 365. <laughs> Big fan of Newsome. I wish he had some better uh, visuals, but it doesn't matter because I listen to him in my drive, my drive into work or my drive home from work because he has no visuals. It's just more like a podcast, that just talks. <laughs> Nora, that's uncomfortable. Come on. <laughs> then we've got uh, Ronnie's MMA breakdowns. Ronnie's good. He gives the. Uh, he, every video is a separate video per fight. He doesn't do like uh, multiple fights in one video or anything like that. But uh, he goes through the both guys' abilities in like striking or whatever and all that. Then at the end he puts uh, what he thinks is going to happen. And then he yeah. finally his last segment with nice timestamps. It's very neat and organized. I like it. Finally he puts in what bets he's going to make, if any. So anyway, uh, he, Ronnie, Ronnie's MMA breakdowns here. He's taken Davishvili by decision. Now you'd say, hey, that's a full cap or consensus. Ah, 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 because there is one contrarian pick. And that is, of course, of course I can't leave him out. He's Vlad, the Bulgarian yeah. cowboy from UFC. Yay. Celebrities and classics. Nora likes Vlad, right? Always like he likes our kitties a lot. Okay, celebrities and classics. He's not very confident on this pick, but I told him you gotta take a side. So he's given he's leaning a little bit of the edge towards Stamen. He thinks Stamen's got the better uh say the boxing or strike I don't know. You know, links in the description. You can check it out. I think he his, he think this. Uh, what do you say? He does have like an over under pick on it too, but I can't can't really remember. <laughs> but I know he took uh, Stamen. So my pick here, I'm gonna have to go with the Capper. Pretty much almost Capper consensus. I'm gonna go with the Capper majority. Take Marav, the favorite here. He's on a streak, man. He's doing so good. He's a beast, too. I was looking at both these guys. I like Cody Stom, and it's unfortunate about his, the death of his brother that when he fought, like the the week before he fought, uh, who was it? Brian Kelleher, boom. Brian Boom Kelleher. That, like that week or days or something before he went to fight, his brother passed away from cancer, his little brother. Yeah, that was that was a tearjerker. I hated that. But uh, anyway, I think Davis really is gonna is better. But I wouldn't be surprised if Cody Diamond, you know, I wouldn't would not be surprised. But I got Davis Vili here with the majority of cappers. He is the favorite. He is expected to do it. I'm gonna say by decision. I'm not sure if that makes it a plus number. And you know, I won't bet it unless it's a plus number. And usually I won't even bet it unless it's a plus over 130. Well, yeah, that's not true. I bet even odds. But anyway, moving on. Next we have, oh, this is a good one too. Sean Strickland, Tarzan, taking on Christoph Jocko. The weirdest spelling of Christoph I've ever seen. But anyway, um... John Strickland got a record of 22 and 3. He's the big favorite here. Minus 260. This is a pretty wide gap. With, and Christoph Jocko's got his 22 and 4. He's got one 
more loss than, than Strickland. And he's plus 220. Plus 220 underdog. Unbelievable. Um, okay. Tarzan is coming off. This is why, though. Sean <laughs> Strickland's beasting right now. He's coming off a great win against Brendan Allen, who I have. A lot of people are high on Brendan Allen. He knocked him out second round. But I guess Allen is rumored to have had some mental issues going into that fight. He wasn't mentally prepared or something. I don't know. Excuses, excuses. Everybody's got him, right? <clears throat> he fights out of Team Quest <clears throat> with, uh, you know who fights out of there? Sm Smiling Sam Alvey. And uh, Dan Henderson, but you know, he's one of the veteran old timers. I don't, he's not active, but he fights other two. Um, he is taking on Christoph Jocko. Uh, what I didn't write it down, but I think he's a uh, what is he like? Man, I didn't write it down. Anyway, he's fighting out of uh. Germany. I want to say he's Moldovian. Maybe. I should have wrote it down, idiot. But it, no, I ain't cute to lava. He's Moldovian. Christoph Jocko, what? It's going to bug me. I got a little OCD. I got to check. Okay. Christoph Jocko fighting out of Poland, but training out of Germany. He trains out of Planet Eater. That's what the gym is called. I did recognize one name in there. That was Peter Sabota. He is a UFC fighter. I think he's coming off a loss though. Okay, Jocko has the one inch reach. That's nothing. But he's coming off a unanimous decision win against Eric Anders. This guy's got, he's decent, man. 22 and four, you can't knock that. But he is the heavy underdog. Let's see what these uh, cappers have to say in this fight between the hot, Sean Strickland, Tarzan, and Christoph Jacko. Okay, taking the favorite. We always start with the favorite. We've got uh, Ronnie. Ronnie's from uh, Australia. He's taking Strickland, but he said no bet. He is not betting this because, but you know, he's kind of like on the he's. Got to pick a side. He's taking Strickland, but no bet there. Then we've got um, E Money is saying TKO in the third, and then uh, Newsom MMA play three six five also taking uh, Sean Strickland. Then we got uh, underdogs. He is saying by KO, by knockout. And finally, well, on this side, Bleed is also taking Sean Strickland. So what's that leave? <laughs> One more contrarian pick guy. <laughs> Who do you think it is? <laughs> yep, Vlad again, breaking up that Capper consensus. He's taking Christoph Jocko. Uh, and classic. Vlad had a, uh, today. He had a show. He did, and he explained that he's not just a uh, MMA. What do you say? Just not an MMA uh, sports reporter type guy. He's and he showed he had a stack of Taekwondo medals around his. He got a new haircut, all buzzed up, looking good. Had his little, uh, how's bragging camp, Vlad? And I'm just teasing, he's he's not one to brag, but he was explaining how he's got a ton of medals. He used, he did, his uh, kickboxing record is one and one, I think he said. He had like one knockout and one uh, no contest. He had to give up kickboxing because of uh, liver problems. But he does have a ton of medals from Taekwondo, which he wore today. Check that out. I'm not putting the link in the description. I'll put the link in the description to one of these fights. But uh, definitely check it out. It'll, it'll come up because he just made it today. It's on his, you know, new videos. Anyway, he's taking Jocko. I, same, same thing as last time. I'm going to go with... 
Charles Strickland, I'm going to go with the capper majority, almost capper consensus pick and take the heavy favorite. I mean, I'd be silly not to. I don't see otherwise. But you know what's my main thing is the weigh-ins. When I make the way, when I watch the weigh-ins, because as I'm doing, I'm still not done researching. Even though I'm done, this is the main card. I'm still tonight. I'm gonna watch fight night picks. I wanted to get those guys on here, but time, man, time, time check. I, you know, fight night picks. I want to watch them after this. I still have other cop cappers. I want to see what the Layton from UFC Gambling Addicts what he has to say about these fights. I'm. Like, I, I still do this for myself, so I'm gonna continue my research. And when I research, like when I watch these guys, uh, underdogs bleed, I play that shit from the beginning. I don't just zoom right to this fight. I have done that in crunch time in the past. For a lot of guys, I just go to the, God bless time markers. I go right to the fight just to write down what they're picking. I don't even get to hear them. But now I've got this, it's a, you know, pattern. It's like a routine. I load my phone up while I'm getting my morning coffee. And then when I pull out of the Stewart's, that's where I get my coffee. <laughs> After I pull out of the parking lot, Stewart's, I hit play and I listen to that thing for an hour straight. And um, same thing on the way home. And then, then when I get home, whatever, that's when, and throughout the work day, if I have like little breaks in between my job, you know, I check, I check YouTube just to see if any of these cappers are putting out videos and stuff. And I try to sneak in there, but the priorities, my job comes before this. Anyway, back to this. Sorry, I go off like that a little, that's why I put time markers. I don't, you guys can go right to the recap. I don't care if you watch the, I mean, the minutes are fine. I'd rather get the likes and subscriptions. Go right to the recap if you want, don't want to hear me jabber, which I often do, go off topic a lot. All right, um, yeah, I got him going, winning TKO. You know, TKO, we'll say, uh, just within distance, I'm not, I'm not picking a round. I don't know which round. So TKO, inside the distance, within distance, however you want to say it. That's my pick for Sean Strickland. Whatever makes it a plus number, which TKO should make it plus 110 or something. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Oh, we've got Eon. Eon. Kutalaba, Jan, Jan, Ian, whatever. He's taking on Dustin Jacoby. Ian Kutalaba, the Hulk. Uh, super aggressive light heavyweight. Comes in, just wants to knock your head right off. He just wants to come in there and throw all these super punches, like, <laughs> not Superman punches, but you know, he throws everything he's got. He, he's very aggressive, hyper aggressive which people tend to see that as low fight IQ. I don't, I disagree. He didn't make it to the UFC by doing, he's also, he's, he doesn't just go in there and knock everybody out. You know, he does have ground game. He does have, he's fighting out of Moldova, right? I got that right. Yeah, his gym is CSA Moldova. I don't know any of the guys from there, but um, he does have more to him than just pure aggression, pure. You know, he's not like literally the Hulk, no matter if he dyes his skin green or whatever. He's just, that novelty is corny. But anyway, uh, Ayan Kutalaba is coming off the two back-to-back -back losses to Magomed Ankalaev. First one, he said he was faking it, but I call BS on that. I call shenanigans. I don't believe that for a minute. I think Magomed Ankalaev is definitely one of the top light heavyweights in the you know he's he could be yeah he's definitely in my opinion top five in my opinion he's top five light heavyweight in in the ufc so there's no shame even though after the first one where he's like all right i'll fight you again 
Second one, he made quick rule, quick, quick work of them, knocking them out without a doubt. This time, taking care of it. Um, he, Ian Kutalaba is taking on Dustin Jacoby. Dustin Jacoby is also coming off a win against Maxime Grisham, unanimous decision. The Hanyak, that's his name, is 14 and 5. He's a slight underdog, plus 127. Uh, Jacoby fights out of the uh, Finney's Hit Squad. I didn't see many active UFC fighters. I did see, I think there's a maybe a Bellator guy or a PFL guy. Matt Hughes was at top of the, you know, topology, but you, you all know he's not active. But, you know, still that's where he was from, Finley's Hit Squad. That's in uh, Grant City, Illinois. Dustin Jacoby, one thing, he does have a three inch reach and a two inch height advantage over the Hulk. Um, and, he is on a four fight win streak, Dustin Jacoby. So take that for what it is. Let's throw these cappers up there, starting out with the favorite, the Hulk, Ion Kutalaba. Okay, we've got, uh, we'll start out E Money, E Money. E Money is on Ion Kutalaba. Then uh, we can jump over here. Newsom, Newsom is taking Dustin Jacoby. I'm gonna make play three six five. And you guys, I'm telling you, if you want to hear their point of view, the links are in the description. Just hit the link. Hear what Newsom has to say about this fight and why he's taking Jacoby. It's that easy. I make it that easy for you guys. All for free. <laughs> anyway, um, Vlad is taken Ian Kutalaba from UFC Celebrities and Classics. Then we've got um, Ronnie's MMA Breakdowns. Ronnie is saying Dustin Jacoby by decision. When does Brandon need to take a shower? Right after I'm done with this video. Where is he? Is he getting in the shower now? No. Then we've got um, Underdogs is saying TKO round one. And finally, to wrap it up, is he going to tie it? We got Bleed. What What's he taking? Fire plus up. Fire it up. Fire it up. That's inappropriate for LOL dolls. But anyway, beat it. But, but this is an LOL scene. Yeah, I know. What? I, I don't. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's, a, it's marketing towards. It's poor marketing toward children that they shouldn't be. Ex anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bleed is not taking Jacoby. Bleed is also taking Kutalaba. For that hyper aggression, he thinks he's gonna go in there. He didn't say officially, but I think he mentioned something about he's probably gonna go in the first round and make quick work of Dustin Jacoby. But I'm not right in that because he didn't officially take that position on that fight. Here, man, I so want to take an underdog, but I just I listen to the cappers, man. This I'm gonna this is another one. I'm kind of gonna study the weigh-ins and study this fight a little bit more hear what hear what fight night picks and you know um lock of the night i still want to hear what he has to say about this stuff there's a lot of other cappers i'm interested in seeing their position on these fights but as for right now going off what i've heard heard here what i hear today <laughs> talking like nora <laughs> i'm just kidding baby um from what i heard Nothing. From what I heard today, I, I'm going to have to go with Ayan Kutalaba, his uh, aggression. And he um, he does have some uh, ground game. Dustin Jacoby, though, he's, man, he's, he's on a streak. Four fight win streak. Yeah, this is, this. I'm unsure about this, but I'm going to have to go with uh, 
TKO <laughs> early. First or second. I, I mean, that's how he's a like super... It. But Jacoby is a, is a skilled kickboxer. He's got, like, cr credentials as a... I think he... From Glory MMA. Or not Glory MMA. From... Glory, the the fighting promotion. That's a kickboxing promotion, basically. A lot of kickboxers in there. I don't know. I heard that stuff today too. That's why I'm unsure of this, but I'm gonna just go with the the popular thing. I think uh, Kudalaba probably take care of business in the first round. Like I said, watch my last looks video. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna do that either Friday after the weigh-ins or Saturday morning. I do have to do. Uh, I do have plans Saturday though. I got my my wife bought me an outdoor fire pit I put together and Saturday. This. Yeah, and that stuff for the car. And I'm having an electrician come to my apart one of the apartments to do work. I got I got a lot of things to do Saturday, so I might have to do it Friday night. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Woo! I've been on the grind my whole life, day and night, double time. Brand new year, the shit mine. Okay, so to recap, really? <laughs> to recap, I've got Marab Davishvili beating Cody Salmon by decision. Then I have Christoph Jacko losing to Sean Strickland within distance. Uh, Sean Strickland, I think, is going to probably play him till the, he's gonna play that game till like late when, I guess uh, people have seen Christoph Jocko's cardio fade in the third round. I think I heard one of the cappers say that. So the, that's the problem. If I don't write the stuff down, I get confused of who said what, but uh, at least I know their picks are correct because I re, like I double checked picks. <laughs> But the meat of the information, if I'm distracted while I'm driving, I don't, I, you know. Anyway, finally, I've got Ian Kutalaba beating Dustin Jacoby, first round TKO. But like I said, I'm gonna watch my last look video. These, that might be um, on the board for the capper, for the chat, capper comparison picks, the live one. So, you know, that being said, Gather the info, place those bets, and cash and those know, tickets. I will. You know what? You can see what's in yep. I would. I am still going to do a parlay right now after I'm done with the show now with Kutalaba, Strickland, and Davishvili. I hit on those, you know. I hit on those three fight parlays from the shows. So that's just tradition. I have to do it. It's. 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 I can't not do it. So that's the degenerate in me. Anyway, good luck on these bets, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the main and co-main event.